Hello friends, I am Dr. Vaseem Sheikh. Today we will discuss about eutectic, eutectoid and peritectic reaction. So let us start. Here we will study eutectic, eutectoid and peritectic reaction with the help of examples. So now what is eutectic reaction? Eutectic reaction, in eutectic reaction one liquid phase will transform into two solid phases. So one liquid phase will transform into two solid phases. So here as an example, we will be looking at the lead and tin phase diagram and you either heat or you cool. This is what you will be getting. So if you are here and having two phases and you are heating the material, then it will transform into liquid and when you are cooling the material, it will transform into two solid phases. So liquid, one liquid phase will transform into two solid phases that is called as a eutectic reaction and these reactions eutectic eutectoid and peritectic reaction all these reactions are invariant means they will be ha happening at a particular temperature and at a particular composition so that is the main thing here which we have to remember in a particular phase diagram so here we are looking into the lead and tin phase diagram and here in the lead and tin phase diagram at around 183 degrees celsius at the composition of tin we will be having this eutectic reaction so in the upcoming slide we will see exactly the phase diagram and we will see the eutectic reaction but before that we will be looking into all these three reactions then we will be looking into the phase diagram of these reactions so next is eutectoid reaction and a very common and very easy example for us to remember is from the iron and carbon phase diagram where one solid phase will transform into two solid phases okay so overall one solid phase here as an example we will see s2 that is a solid phase will transform into s1 and s3 and however we do it with either heat or cool we will get the same thing after heating and cooling so when we are cooling from s2 we will get s1 and s3 and when we are heating from s1 plus s3 that phase will give us one solid phase as an example we have earlier we earlier we have seen the iron carbon phase diagram so at around 727 degrees celsius at the weight percent of 0.76 carbon we have this particular eutectoid reaction so gamma phase when we are when we are cooling the gamma phase we will be forming alpha ferrite and iron carbide at this particular temperature so in the next slide we will be looking at an example which is not the iron and iron carbon phase diagram but from some other phase diagram because iron carbon phase diagram i have already discussed earlier in a in an earlier video so you can refer to that video so that we won't be having a repetition we'll be looking at a new phase diagram where we'll be studying about the eutectoid reaction and here this is an intermetallic compound that is the cementite so just for information so next we will look into the peritectic reaction where one liquid and one solid will transform into a second solid phase so liquid plus solid liquid plus solid will transform into another solid phase again we'll be looking at an example here of iron iron carbon phase diagram where at around 1493 at a composition of 0.16 weight percent of carbon delta that is a solid phase and liquid will transform into gamma which is nothing but austenite phase but again in the upcoming slide we'll be not discussing about iron carbon phase diagram because again we have seen this transformation in that video so we will be looking at a new phase diagram where we will be studying about the peritectic reaction so just remember that solid plus liquid will give us another solid that is the peritectic reaction so now one more very important point here which we need to know in the eutectic reaction or the eutectic compositions that we have two eutectic compositions and these two compositions are hypo eutectic and hyper eutectic similarly we can even have a hypo eutectoid and hyper eutectoid composition now what is this hypo and hyper eutectic composition just we'll just have a look at it 
so this is a lead tin phase diagram this is a lead tin phase diagram and this composition here is the eutectic composition this is a eutectic composition as we have seen earlier liquid will transform into two solid phases at this temperature at this temperature and this composition which we have seen so this is an invariant reaction which is not going to change it will be same at this phase diagram now what is hypoeutectic now hypoeutectic is nothing but the composition which is to the left of the eutectic point or eutectic composition so here this area which is shown is the hypoeutectic composition so this is the hypoeutectic composition which is to the left of the eutectic point and exactly at this particular composition we have the eutectic point so this is the the microstructure or an actual image of the eutectic phase of the material and this is the exact composition of hypoeutectic material and this is the actual image of the hypoeutectic alloy similarly we have hypereutectic composition and this is the hypereutectic alloy so here you can see that when we are just below the eutectic point and from that there onward if we draw a tie line it will hit the alpha so all the hypoeutectic composition will have alpha so this is the alpha which will be having and then rest will be the eutectic composition now the, there is a particular name which is given to this particular alpha which is called as a pro eutectic alpha so pro eutectic means before the eutectic this alpha was pre present so this is that same alpha okay so that is called as a pro eutectic alpha and this is the eutectic composition so the eutectic composition will consist of the lamellar layer will consist of the lamellar layer of alpha and beta here okay so that is the eutectic composition now hyper eutectic composition will have beta will have beta because from here if you draw the tie line imagine this is a tie line okay just above this you have the tie line and you draw the tie line so that tie line will hit the beta so it will have beta okay and it will have the eutectic composition so beta and eutectic composition and again one more name is given to this beta is that it is pro eutectic beta okay pro eutectic beta so on you know in in whole you know as a whole phase beta is present and beta is also present in this alpha and beta eutectic composition now all these are called as the eutectic micro constituent because some eutectic is present in both hypoeutectic and hypereutectic alloys and the hypereutectic composition will be to the right of the eutectic composition so to the right of the eutectic composition whatever the composition is there we call that as a hypereutectic composition that i forgot to mention earlier now coming to the second and third reaction so we have seen eutectic reaction and hypo and hyper eutectic reactions or the composition we can say and now we will look into eutectoid and peritectic reaction now what is eutectoid and peritectic reaction let us have a look based on this copper and zinc system so this is a copper and zinc phase diagram now let us look into the eutectoid and peritectic reactions here so looking into the phase diagram here we have a eutectoid composition so as we have seen in the earlier slide eutectoid is nothing but one solid is transforming into two solid phases so here delta is transforming into gamma plus epsilon so you can see here this point e this point e this is a delta phase here okay and exactly at this point e just below that it is transforming into two solid phases two solid phases so this is temperature on the y axis and composition on the x axis weight percent of zinc is on the x axis and exactly at this point one solid that is delta is transforming into two solid phases that is gamma and epsilon now moving on to the next reaction that is peritectic reaction here again there are two peritectic reactions on this phase diagram the first one is 
gamma plus liquid will transform into delta so in the earlier slide we have seen that solid plus one liquid will give a second solid material sorry will give a second solid phase that is called as a peritectic reaction here let us see where is the peritectic reaction gamma plus liquid so this is gamma plus liquid gamma plus liquid is at this particular point will transform into delta so that is that peritectic reaction and the next one is delta plus liquid will go to epsilon so this is delta plus liquid and exactly at this point it will transform into epsilon so one one solid and a liquid phase will transform into epsilon that is another solid phase and again i am telling you that the eutectoid peritectic and eutectic reaction i have already discussed in an earlier video of ion and ion carbon phase diagram so i hope you understood this important concept and these important invariant reaction so let us summarize very quickly about all these reactions so the first one is eutectic reaction where one liquid phase will transform into two solid phases then eutectoid reaction where one solid phase will transform into two solid phases and third peritectic reaction where one solid and one liquid will transform into another solid phase so i hope you understood about all these three important reactions thanks for watching all the best